Hey, stop right there. Hey, do you know where that's going? I don't know, man. What's up? Let me show you what happens when you throw things in the trash. Follow me. Whoa! <laughs> this place stinks! Where am I? We are now at the landfill. Here, take this. Whew. When trash arrives here at the landfill, the problem has just begun. Without the right conditions, waste materials will decompose very slowly and stink. Trash enclosed in plastic bags will rot and sit there for years because most plastic bags are non biodegradable. Hi, I'm Karen. I'm on my way to decomposition. Help! Help! I'm the bag monster. Help! I'm non biodegradable. Help! I'm immortal. Now you see, much of our day-to-day -day waste ends up here in the landfills, taking up lots of space. Leakage from landfill can pollute the surrounding soil and water sources. 20 to 30 percent of our waste is compostable yard trimmings and food residue. By composting, we can stop the expansion of landfills and use that valuable space for other things. Less landfills also means less pollution. You can compost instead. The organic material in this bin is broken down into soil by exposure to heat and oxygen, which aids the chemical reactions of the decomposition process. Worms and bacteria are often used to speed up this process, digesting the food and plant waste. Since finished compost is rich in carbon and nitrogen, it can act as a fertilizer for plants, returning nutrients from food to the soil. The finished compost is distributed to many local farmers who grow food, which ends up in our stores and markets. More food? When you compost, you help turn a dead-end waste path into a more sustainable cycle. You are helping dam the streams of waste that end up in our landfills. Okay, but what can I compost? Understanding a few simple classifications will help you on your way to composting success. You can compost all foods, even meat or bones. You can compost tea bags and coffee grounds too. You can compost paper cups, but only if they're lined with wax, not plastic. It's easy enough to tell though. How? Just ask yourself, does it pass the scratch test? The scratch test? If you can scratch it, it's wax and it's good to go. If you can't, it's plastic and has to be thrown away. Most coffee cups are compostable. It never hurts to check, though. Most paper towels can be composted as well. Sounds like basically everything can be composted. Not quite, and it's important to know what to dispose of differently. Well, what can be composted? Sadly, coffee cup lids, coffee filters, milk cartons, and plastic bags cannot be composted. Well, that seems to cover everything, then. Not quite. Plastics may seem intimidating, but if properly labeled, they're easy to identify. If there's a one or two at the bottom in the triangle in the container, it is recyclable. If there's a seven and the letters PLA, or it has compost written at the bottom, then that's the bin you put it in. In Berkeley, any other designation must be thrown away. It is important to avoid putting non-compostable items in these bins as they do not break down even under intense heat, which interferes with the compost formation process. And that's it. Easy as pie, which is compostable. Wow, now I know about composting. But where can I do this? You can compost at a number of buildings on campus. You can compost at any Cal Dining location, both in the residence halls and on campus. In these residence halls, look for the green bins in the trash room for food and the receptacles in the bathroom for composting paper towels. There are also a number of buildings on campus that compost, including Sudarja Dai Hall, California Hall, Durant Hall, Free Speech Movement Cafe, Worcester, Eshelman, Sproul Hall, Barrows, the a &E Building, Mulford, Stanley, Haas, Bolt, and the Women's Faculty Club.
Composting is your responsibility, so do it well and be proud. This tree thanks you. The Campanile thanks you.